Imagine a place suspended between heaven and earth where ancient monasteries seem to float on rock pillars. Welcome to one of the most mysterious places of Greece, Meteora. Yesterday we made our way to the small town of Kalambaka to discover the UNESCO World Heritage today. In this video we will explain more about the history, share with you some breathtaking views and give you tips for your own trip. If you have just joined us, my partner Lee and I are currently on a road trip with our small camper, exploring some of the most incredible places in Greece. Welcome to our journey. At the end of the video, we have a surprise in store. An unexpected visitor crossed our path, so stay tuned. It is 6 a.m. and we are right next to the Meteora Monasteries. And we're waiting for the sun to rise. Unfortunately it's a little bit cloudy, well actually pretty cloudy today, so we hope that we will see a very nice sunrise. Um, and we woke up that early because usually it's getting packed very fast um, and a lot. We want to enjoy it ourselves and we're gonna do also a small hike. So this is the plan for this morning and the view is incredible. And we get some coffee. Calera. Coffee away. Yes, Guys, cry. It's so beautiful. <laughs> now that the sun came out of it, it, it is just so magical. afraid that the sun will not come out because it was super cloudy and we're like okay it's not gonna happen and then suddenly 40 minutes later the sun came over the mountain and it, it was just a, a clear almost clear sky and we're like okay we have to do it again but it's it's so magical with this golden hour in the morning it was so worth it to understand a little bit more about the monasteries and about these crazy rocks that are just standing out like this. Why do they exist? And how many monasteries are there? Why are they important? Can you help us, please? Of course, my Foka. Meteora in Greek means literally rocks floating in the air. These amazing geological formations are made by sediments of a delta area of a river, then lifted up to the surface by tectonic plate movements, and then shaped by erosion during millions and millions of years of I time. have never seen something like this. I don't even know how to describe it. It looks so unreal, so fake. And here you can see this is a abandoned monastery. So the stairs you can see still see they go up and you can see all the building on top but it's completely abandoned. Somewhere around the 14th to 15th century, the Christian monks came to this area in search of solitude and spirituality and with the help of very basic tools, they climbed up to these gigantic rock formations and carved caves into them. 
where they could meditate peacefully and stay away from the mundaneness of the rest of the world. And slowly, they started to form their, how do you say, like a, a little Christian monastic society in the area? Just by the uh, geological formation, this area is already amazing, but what they build on top of them is even more impressive. Here you can see a monastery that is carved in basically the, the, the rock here. This one is called Ipapandi Monastery and it's not really accessible. You have to walk at least 40 minutes or so, so it's not really touristy. So if you are visiting the Meteora area, it could be a nice choice. And this is like a small elevator that can bring up stuff. So this one is still open like on a daily basis, just today not yet because it's too early. But I think that one would be very interesting to see. Okay, I just heard an, a noise and a very familiar noise, you know? As I told you already, um, I have turtles or turtles at home and you know when a female and a male like each other a lot sometimes they don't even like each other a lot <laughs> well they do things right and then they do noises very specific noises that you hopefully heard here because it's so funny and I heard it and I'm like oh for sure that's gonna be has this has to be turgises and I came running and yes it's true <laughs> so beautiful nature it's pretty common to find turtles around Greece and if you are traveling around the country, don't be surprised to find one. And with the time, they started to build incredible monasteries up there. And Meteora became the second most important religious site for Greek Orthodox, just behind Mount Athos. And since 1988, Meteora is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. In total, there are 26 monasteries in the area. But nowadays, only six of them are still functioning and accepting visitors. The rest of the monasteries are abandoned. The most famous ones are the Great Meteora and the Vale Monastery. So this one here is closed every Friday. So if you want to go into one of the monasteries, you have to wear long trousers. Don't go with tops, no dogs. Interesting. So the monastery that I just showed you, or at least the sign, it's the Valam Monastery. And this one is closed on Fridays. We're back at our nice camper and um, unfortunately the, the monastery was closed. Uh, we did not plan in advance to go there, um, but we also don't want to go to the most famous one which is called Gran Meteora. 
um, because the great meteora the great meteora because this one's gonna be pretty packed probably but if you like this episode please give us a thumbs up it really helps subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell yes and you can also follow us on instagram if all of this information helped you to plan it yourself or you just enjoyed um, watching the video also you can leave comments and we would be very happy to see you in the next video see you next week bye bye